Having grown up in Iberia Parish, I knew all too well that highways in south Louisiana are lined with sugarcane in some places as far as the eye can see. The $2 billion industry plays a major role in Louisiana agriculture. In this edition of Louisiana Farm Life, Twyla's Rebecca Buchanan visits the Malonsaw Farm in Bro Bridge to meet one of the farming families behind this historic crop. You ready to go see a tractor? Yeah. Yes. Go ride a tractor. Unbridled excitement for tractors. Go ride. Yeah. <laughs> Sugar cane and life on the farm. It's embedded in the Melanson family's DNA here in Brobridge. First tractor I was ever in, so on a tractor was, was right here. It was just a few rows over. No. I remember exactly where I was. I was probably about 10 years old. Mike Melanson is a third generation sugarcane farmer. This proud father and grandfather glows at the sight of his grandson's love of farm equipment. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> he's, uh, he's overly excited. He's been, he's, he's been excited uh, about tractors and farm equipment before he actually saw what they were. He's making <laughs> noises and pushing them around the yard. Beep, beep. So yeah. now they get on them and, and check them out every once in a while. It's a great day. I go out the field. Go out the field. You're going to be daddy? Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's go. Finding dad's field is just part of the Melanson family tradition. Mike's daughter, Allison Frederick, remembers her search well. Dad was always in the field whenever I was little, so I would ride with my grandfather. And he was so into it, I would listen to the guys talk on the CBs and stuff like that. I always thought it was real cool. Now watching the cycle continue with her nephew and daughter, Allison says it brings a new round of joy to their family. Excitement in their eyes is really, it, it's, it, you enjoy it so much. And even to see my dad and the, the emotion that comes from him because they all enjoy it is unbelievable. It's really something to be proud of. That sense of pride grows every day for Allison as she works by her father's side managing their 3,400 acre farm. I've had two, two daughters and uh, the question was, um, you know, who's going to follow in your footsteps, you know, because you, you, know, you know I'm the son. Well, I always felt that um, my girls could surely handle the, the main part of the farm, and Allison, my oldest daughter, is already at that point. The demand for documentation for workers, wages, and farm safety is higher than ever. All those things really take a lot of time, and normally I would do it, end up doing it at night, get home 8 o'clock, work on paperwork till 10, 10.30. It's, it's not real bad, but you don't have a lot of family time if you're doing that either. So. We've evolved into having to have someone else. The added paperwork created a full-time position on the farm, and Allison says she prefers it. I'm not too good on getting dirty. Dad asked me the other day to go on a tractor, so sooner or later I think I'm going to be moving from the office to a tractor, which I don't mind, but it'll take a little getting used to. <laughs> Allison keeps everything up to date. She makes sure safety practices are upheld for their employees and for the public. We have to make sure uh, trucks, lights are clean, uh, reflectors are, are, are washed, that we always know the public's got the right away every time, we never take a chance. Uh, we, we keep our tractors off the road if we can at, at all costs. We try, we try to load, load cane in trucks. While they work, crews clear roadways, cleaning any mud or debris left by the tractors or trucks. Actually made me more involved in the farm because now I need to know what's coming in to make sure that I have all the safety equipment present, that's my role now, making sure the, the background's there if something ever happens. That's, it surely takes all the pressure off. It makes, when I'm away with, with the guys I have helping manage my farm and my daughter, handling the administrative load, uh, we don't miss a beat if I'm not, if not, if I'm not around. So thankfully, she does that. And it, like I said, it allows me to have the freedom to, to actually get back on the track and do work and get out of the office. It's what our family loves. It's what I grew up doing. It's what I grew up around, and it's hard not to love it. It's hard not to be proud that you help feed America. Like sugar, the cane industry continues to grow and adapt with the times, despite urban elements inching closer to the farms. According to the LSU Ag Center, Louisiana sugar cane yields continue to rise, getting 30 to 50 tons per acre. The Lanson family is excited to continue their hard work and see where their next generation takes the farm. Daddy, bye. So having families step up on the farm really makes things easier for Mike to make the South Louisiana sugar industry everything he really wants it to be. It gives him time to serve as the president of Lasuka, that's the local sugar mill, and he sits on the Louisiana Farm Bureau Federation Executive Committee as the secretary treasurer. But the biggest thing is that he gets to get back to what he loves to do on the farm. That's just being out on the tractor. You know, we saw Tate. What we didn't see, though, was little Adelie, and he said that her favorite thing, that's his granddaughter, is watching them go plant um, all the soybeans 
scenes, and then she watches it, because that's her field. It's like her little ag in the classroom, but that's her field, and she watches them grow and goes through the whole process. Mike and his wife, Pam, are just wonderful people, and I love looking at all the pictures that Pam will post on Facebook. <laughs> she posts so many grandchild pictures. It's Oh, and they are right there, and, and they are so excited. They are, and they're so adorable. They're so adorable. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much, Rebecca.